Hey everyone, New England Gardening here. You know, part of the interest of growing figs is the uh, many varieties, and uh, the trick is finding the variety that's going to ripen and taste good in your area, and have enough time to ripen. Uh, of course, depending on your resources, if you have a greenhouse, uh, there are probably a lot more varieties than, uh, that you can uh, grow and have success with. But one of the other aspects of growing figs is uh, the varieties come from all over the world. Um, you can get varieties you know, from all over the Mediterranean, Italy, uh, Spain, Portugal, France, Turkey. Uh, this particular fig here is from Armenia and it's just amazing to have a plant that uh, you know, has these different origins. Um, I've had this fig before. It's a nice fig, but one of the problems is it has this humongous eye here which allows uh, insects to get inside and allows the weather to, or the environment to get inside and sour the fig. But um, it's just, you know, another aspect of growing figs, uh, another interest is having these figs from these different regions. Man has had a relationship with figs for a really long time. They've, they've found dried figs in the tombs uh, going back 2,000 years. And I uh, just recently read an article where they found a you know, fossilized wasp, fig wasp, uh, estimate the age of 35 million years. So figs have been around for a long time. So let's take a closer look at this fig. So this is one of those characteristics that you look for or try to avoid in a fig is these uh, huge eyes here, which I said allow bugs in the environment to get in uh, rain and end up souring the fig. Uh, you can put for, for insects that crawl up the tree trunk to get to the fig, you can put tangle foot uh, around the base, uh, around the uh, trunk, and that prevents the bugs from uh, proceeding up the tree. But what about flying insects? Well, you know, one thing that I've seen people do is you can put like medical tape over the eye here, and uh, so it's breathable and uh, it should prevent bugs from, from getting inside. So you take a piece of, of the medical tape like this and just put it over the eye like that. And hopefully that'll give you some time to ripen this fig. This fig here, I don't know, it's a little soft, but it's, it's still pretty firm. Um, but it's been so humid, uh, I don't know if these are going to just sour or not. So this is an Armenian fig. Um, it's kind of a mild taste uh, from the last time. I've only had it one other time. And um, one of the drawbacks is this, this large eye. So people do tend to look for figs that have these really tight or closed eyes that prevent insects and the environment from getting in and souring the fig before it ripens. So this is New England Gardening and this is an Armenian fig. Thanks for watching.